when a person has sun in the sixth house, there is a need to develop that ego identity and develop a good supportive routine around health and have an organized life because these people can be very messy. There's also that need to develop, to improve oneself, to improve one's beliefs, to improve one's positions in life. They need to improve their physical and psychological health, okay? Because sixth house belongs to Virgo, and Virgo's house is all about being organized, having a structured life that is supportive. Also, these people need to you know, um, learn how to be satisfied with less, okay? Like, these are true monks. Uh, you can really discover that enlightenment with this placement because um, it becomes Zen because really with this placement it's you know you are fine with just a few things and this like it creates that peace and harmony in your life by not having too much this is also a good placement for a job employment and this shows that you will have a you will be a very successful at you what you do okay like you're a good expert at something and people are willing to pay you a very um, good amount of money for what you do in your talents and skills because sixth house having sun you shine in your work but this does not mean that you're self-employed okay this is not self-employment this is working for others this is the employed job having a boss and whatever this also shows that you are good at serving other people and you are able to create that um, wealth and Create that identity for a company. Wherever you work at, you create that uniqueness and that unique energy that the company brings with your presence there. And these people, like, actually, these people are better suited for employed rather than being self employed. Better to be employees for them because they even find that peace and harmony when they help other people, you know, to make money with their skills and they can be very very talented in what they do and very meticulous it can be related to like meticulous jobs you know unique perspective however being organized being detailed so i would say it can be related to like some like performing and like promoting other people's businesses maybe even marketing because it's pr it can be pr because it's leo and obviously depending on the zodiac sign you have in the um, sixth house we can definitely um, see what kind of what kind of other energies are interfering with this placement right and creating that um, mixture of energies to be aware of but if you have leo or sun in the sixth house then you are someone who finds their purpose their individuality their authority a feeling of prestige prestige and feeling good about yourself, um, like having this ego identity in what you do for other people, okay? So you need to serve others. You are great at serving others. And that's what your purpose is. And that's where you find your purpose as well, okay? Besides employed jobs, right? And finding your purpose through working for others or serving others, you can find your purpose and your value system, you know, that that authority, feeling of authority, feeling good about yourself, that feeling of a king or a king, queen, when you have a very supportive and very healthy routine for yourself, okay? Where you have scheduled life, you know, when you're doing this, when you're doing that, um, you have time for exercise, you have, you eat well. I mean, not like all the time, we all need some junk food, right? I love fast food. but majority of the times like eating vegetables and like healthy stuff right for this um others need to find you know need to understand accept the boundaries of life and like some things won't happen right now or maybe never maybe some things are not good for them and accept everything for what it is and like i said not settle but understand be the minimalist okay like not have too much clutter in life but rather know the real value of life which is being here now being present and this placement having sun in the six because you can literally clean a house and have this insight inspiration that motivates you that makes you like 
I don't know, gets you up in the morning, you know, so you can find an inspiration in your routine. So watch out and like invest in your routine because the more you invest in your routine, the more you find that purpose and understanding of what you want, who you are, because these people may struggle, especially if you don't have a good routine for yourself, then definitely get that because if you don't have a good routine for yourself you may still have those questions like who am i what do i want what am i good at you know and stuff like that but like if you don't have a good routine you know what to do if you guys like this interpretation go ahead and follow me because i will be releasing more videos i will be covering more planets in different houses so also suggest what topics would like me to cover so i can go ahead and do those for you because obviously it makes my life so much easier if i know what you guys want so yeah check out my stand store i have a shopify store where you can find zodiac accessories whether for yourself or for someone else who loves zodiac signs or astrology or in maybe they have their birthday coming also happy birthday my leos leo season if you want to get a zodiac accessory go ahead and check out my stand store where i have lots of things i have uh, multiple pdfs which you can download one about rising sign if you want to learn more about your rising sign and then there's sun and moon interpretation and how to identify which aspects you have in your birth chart and which one apply to you Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.